Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I'd like to cover a little bit about how you can accelerate your data analytics workloads using Intel FPGAs, what's possible, and how really you can take advantage of, of this technology. It all really starts with the investment uh, that Intel has made in big data analytics frameworks. These are frameworks built on open standard building blocks, uh, as well as the API libraries uh, that exist that we've optimized uh, for Xeon processors. Within this framework and within this set of APIs, uh, we've now integrated FPGAs, a technology uh, that really is emerging and becoming widespread uh, in servers. Because we've integrated it within the existing frameworks and implemented some of the key functions in these libraries, your applications don't need to change. The workloads don't need to change themselves. And I'll talk you through a few of the areas that, that we've been able to accelerate uh, in uh, key data store approaches of unstructured, no SQL, uh, and relational databases. So what is an FPGA and how is it accelerating the application? So really you can think of an FPGA as a multifunction hardware accelerator that sits somewhere between the processor and your data. Now that data can get to the processor through a variety of means. One is it can come from local storage right on that node. Uh, it can also come from across a network if that data is stored somewhere else. And we can support real-time streaming as well that can come from a variety of sources. The key here really is that the FPGA support has been integrated into the Intel frameworks and APIs. So you can run your applications unmodified. That is a huge benefit. In addition to those, because you're using those same frameworks, regardless of where your workload lands in the system, uh, the application will run. So if there's an FPGA present, it'll take advantage of the FPGA. Uh, and if there isn't one, it'll continue to execute that application on the processor. So the FPGA delivers significant performance through a variety of modes. There are two I want to call out here. One is what we call look-aside acceleration, and this is through intervention of the processor, where the processor will move some data into the FPGA, the FPGA will perform some type of computation on it, and then send it back to the processor. That's the look-aside approach. The second one is what we call inline acceleration. So while that data is coming either from the network, from local data access, or for streaming, you can process that data on the fly in the FPGA without the processor intervening. This is powerful. So you can do functions such as compression, filtering, encryption, as well as some of the traditional things FPGAs have been good at, such as fast lookups and, and, uh, and hashing. So let's take a look at a few examples that we have through our partner ecosystem, as well as some of the examples uh, that Intel has built. So if we take a look at the unstructured approach here uh, for Hadoop, uh, we've been able to accelerate the aggregation or shuffle phase. And we do this primarily through implementing a high-performance compression algorithm in the FPGA. We can do this for Spark as well, and I've shown three additional examples here. So a partner of ours called Bitstream has been able to accelerate the ingress, the, the in-data processing to Spark by about 3x by taking advantage of the FPGA. If your workload requires machine learning, we have support for that as well. So Intel has contributed the Big DL library, which is implemented on top of Intel's math kernel library support, where we have hardware acceleration in the FPGA built into that. And some of the more traditional uh, MLib, uh, ML libs as well for unsupervised machine learning. In the area of NoSQL, uh, we have a partner called Algologic that has implemented networking and data access in the FPGA. So you harden parts of the network stack as well as the lookups to, to key values in memory. Again, over a 3x performance improvement in that processing. And then for traditional SQL and relational databases, our partner Swarm64 uh, has been able uh, to implement uh, algorithms that, that can support up to a million queries or updates per second for real-time Postgres SQL uh, processing. That's about a 5x improvement over a non-accelerated version. So some initial impressive results, ones that we can demonstrate to you, talk to you more, integrate into your systems, uh, we'd be happy to do that. So really to summarize, on top of that standards-based uh, set of frameworks that Intel provides and APIs for libraries that those workloads use, we've now implemented FPGA support for them. 
And that FPGA, even one per server, can provide significant acceleration for a variety of different workloads because that FPGA can be configured to support different hardened functions. And we enable this support through really our broad and developing set of data analytics solutions uh, and partners out there. So I'd love to talk to you more about it and hope to see you later today. Thank you.